I'd like to have a chat about toilets, to be precise, about the lack of them and its effect on undernutrition. Let's make the link. OK, here goes. Don't be shy. One out of three people does not have access to a decent toilet. One billion amongst them practice open defecation. This has a direct impact on undernutrition. Every year, more than three million children under the age of five die due to undernutrition. Some of these deaths are directly attributable to poor sanitation and hygiene conditions. Open defecation facilitates the spread of infectious diseases. Feces contain different sorts of pathogens, protozoa, worm larvae, viruses and bacteria, which are just waiting to be transmitted to healthy hosts. There are several ways this can happen. They can be passed on when hands aren't washed properly and the hand comes into contact with food. The pathogens can also be picked up from the soil. And often, they contaminate water. They even stick to the legs of flies, moving from feces directly to your plate. The pathogens attack the small intestine. It defends itself by expelling water, which causes diarrhea. As a result, nutrients, which are necessary for healthy growth, leave the body and cannot be absorbed. If the diarrhea occurs repeatedly, the structure of the wall of the intestine changes and prevents the full absorption of nutrients. In the long run, the child becomes malnourished. So hopefully, the link between undernutrition and open defecation is clearer now. Right, let's continue. The lack of toilets creates an environment in which different diseases flourish. These diseases can negatively affect a child's growth. It increases the risk of assaults on women, creates shame, and has negative financial effects for families, hence worsening undernutrition amongst the most vulnerable. Every year, diarrhea is responsible for the death of more than 600,000 children. It is the third biggest cause of child mortality. You find this situation unacceptable? It is, not least because solutions exist. With proper access to toilets, diarrheal infections can be cut by one third. Washing your hands with soap and water halves the risk of disease. There are financial benefits too. For every one euro invested in sanitation, there is a net gain of five because people are healthier and earn more for their families. An investment in sanitation is an investment in development. So now you know that undernutrition cannot be defeated without access to toilets for all. We have to break this taboo. Simple solutions exist. It is now a question of funding and political will. Let's stop children dying from undernutrition. Let us be that generation. <laughs>